guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about some very fast USB 3.0 external storage. Now I was in need of some very fast external hard drive and the options I found out there were really expensive. I was surprised by how much of a markup uh, the different products are compared to just the SSDs that go inside of your computer. So I actually found another option. This is a USB 3.0 portable hard drive enclosure by Inatech if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, this is very inexpensive. It's under $20. Now this one is plastic. They do have a couple other options, uh, some different styles. One of them is aluminum, but I chose this one just because it was very easy to put together. You don't need to use any screws or anything. And it has an on off switch like you will see. So I'll go ahead and open this thing up. Um, so if for under $20, I think this is a fantastic value. And this one is actually specifically made for SSDs. It has some type of either chip or something that actually helps it use uh, more of your SSD's capability compared to other regular enclosures so you'll actually get high speed out of it. So this is what it looks like when it's opened up and I bought a Samsung one terabyte SSD to go in here and you'll see how easy it is to put in. You don't have to mess with any screws or anything like that. So I'll actually have a link in the description to uh, the external enclosure and also to the SSD that I use. Of course, you don't have to use a one terabyte. You can use uh, 120 gig, 250, 512, whatever you want. Or you can grab a SSD you already have and pop it in there and get some really fast, small uh, storage that is powered just off of one USB 3.0, which is awesome. I love that. I have some other external drives that are USB 2.0, they're big, bulky, you have to plug them into the wall, and they're just not convenient. So this is easy, plug it in, hit the on switch, and you're good to go. So if you're using Windows, uh, go ahead and use your search function and find the disk management. And as you see here, I just formatted mine to XFAT because I wanted to use it on Mac and PC. Now this is just a basic test on the Windows side. I took some media I work with, which is usually photos and video, and I transferred it from a RAID 0 setup on my PC to uh, the SSD. Now you see it's writing at 234 megabytes a second, which is fairly decent, definitely better than uh, anything that you're gonna get from a regular hard drive. And um, if you look at the task manager there, you'll see that disk eight, which is the SSD drive Z, is at 57% throughput. So it's not using all everything that it can. And if you look at disk three and five, those are my RAID zero setup. Uh, one disk is at 91% and one is at 75 so it's actually maxing out my RAID 0 setup. I think it's actually limiting uh, the data that's coming through and my RAID 0 setup was bouncing up to 100 uh, right there. So that's the first that's writing onto it. Now I'm going to do a retest and uh, you see here it's running at 310 megabytes a second which is definitely good for an external just powered up uh, USB 3.0 and then once again if you look at the task manager uh, this time I'm testing it um, off of the SSD the external onto my internal SSD which is drive C that's where I have my operating system on now if you look disk 8 uh, disk Z is at 76% so it's using more than it was before but still not all the way and disk 6 disk uh, C is uh, where my operating system, all my programs are installed, and that is at 100%. So it's still limited um, by the hardware I have inside of this computer, not the actual SSD. And the last screen grab I have for you guys is the external SSD plugged into my Mac. And uh, this is using Blackmagic Design's speed test. And I let it go for almost the whole time. And this is pretty much the average that I'm getting. So I'm, I'm guessing that this is the full throughput of this external enclosure with the SSD in it. It's higher than the numbers I got on the Windows side. The write, as you see, is 366.2 megabytes a second and read is 354.2 megabytes a second. Now I'm definitely happy with that. Um, I know some of the other drives, even with SSDs, uh, that you can purchase for a lot more money don't run as fast as this. So for under 20 bucks for this enclosure, you can throw any SSD you want in there and uh, or just a regular hard drive if you don't need it to be this fast. It's a super, super good option that is very inexpensive. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this has helped you out. If you're interested in getting one of these external enclosures or the SSD, I will have links in the description. You guys have a wonderful day. See ya.